All right, so I figured I'd document this. This is my Gibson Les Paul Tribute. It's a 2020 model. It is a uh, Honey Burst. Beautiful guitar. I mean, just look at the figuring on the back. Just so good. This two-piece, maybe three-piece body. I'm not sure, but yeah, man. Just beautiful maple neck, mahogany body. Stupid dog hair. So, I love the way this guitar feels. Absolutely love the way it feels. I really like the way it sounds. But it has a stupid crackle when I, just when I move, when I physically move the guitar around. Um, so I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. It doesn't sound like it's a problem with wiring. Um, it sounds like static electricity. So open it up. Turns out there's no shielding in the cavity at all, which surprises me for USA made Gibson. This is my first one, but I would have thought they would have done better. So I'm going to do some shielding. I already did some copper tape on the cover. I'm going to do copper tape inside here. Just thought I would show you how I'm doing everything. So these little white ones for the pickups, they're labeled, which is really nice. You'll remember where to put them back in. These just pulled out. I just gently wiggled these out. They came out no problem. Then the ones for this uh, jack and the switch, they hook in right here. So you're supposed to be able to push and pull. Um, and that for me, it worked just fine on the input jack. I just pushed this little clip and it pulled right out. The switch was a little bit trickier, so I just got my little half a plier tool to pry on it gently while I gently pulled it out. The only one I haven't figured out yet is this ground wire. So that's going down to, I presume, one of the bridge posts. And then the ground is right, it goes in right here somehow. I have not yet figured out how to do this, but once I figured out I will document it. All right, I'm gonna feel stupid if this works. I just watched a video. Apparently, this is just a button. You just push it down. And this should come right out. Ah, sure enough. Yep, you just push down on this button while pulling up on this. It comes right out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over. Take off my pot knobs and take off these little bolts and take out the PCB board so that I can shield the cavity. Easy enough, I just pulled these off of my fingers. Don't use any tools or you'll scratch your guitar. And these are half inch bolts. Easy enough, just pulls right out. Um, hmm. Just realize, well, no, these nuts, these nuts right here should keep any of these from grounding out. So we should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use some copper tape. I'm just going to lay it down really, really flat. It's a bit rough in here, so I might actually sand it down just a, a little bit. But I don't know what any of these markings mean. But there are markings inside. Look at that. Lazy, lazy. <laughs> okay, I got this all copper taped. I did the sides and the, the bottom. So that feels like it should do really good to keep out, to keep static electricity from getting into this pickup cavity, or at least not as much as it has been. Some people say that it's the nitro still curing because it takes apparently years for the nitro to cure but this guitar is at least uh actually i think it was made in october of 2020 so it's it's almost a year old in my opinion it shouldn't still be curing to the point where it is making a static noise when i'm using it so a couple of things to keep in mind I press this down really, really flat right here, okay? We've got this PCB board. You see these little solder points. It's really important that those do not come in contact with the copper wire or else they will ground out because ground is touching these pots. These pots are grounded. So bear in mind if you're doing this yourself, make sure that you've got plenty of room between those nuts on the pots and your little solder points. 
make sure that your tape is really pushed flat up against the guitar and poke the holes in the tape. Don't use the pots to poke the holes. Poke the holes beforehand with a knife or whatever you got, screwdriver, something sharp, just to make sure that as you reinstall the PCB board that the tape doesn't fold up and bubble up and touch those solder points. And I think you should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together, put the guitar back together, and see if we solved our problem. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do is do the same thing in this pickup switch cavity as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and solder a ground from this middle ground right here out to the edge where I'll put some copper tape. I'll shield the inside of the cavity. I'll shield the back of the cap or the cavity cover, all with copper tape. And then along with that one, by the way, I did also connect the ground wire to the edge right here so that this is all grounded. Um, yeah, so I'll just do the same here and fingers crossed. Okay, cool. So I got the cavity taped up nicely. It's a pretty nice, clean, solid job. I've got the back or the control cover taped up pretty. It's not the prettiest copper tape job I've ever seen, but it looks like it'll do its job. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking this little wire. I'm going to solder it to the ground control here. And then I'm going to solder the other end to the copper tape. And that should ground this all out so that hopefully it'll cure the static. We'll see. And here's what she looks like. So I got this one wired to ground, soldered to ground right here. It's soldered to this copper tape, but I put some tape over it too just because copper tape is very, you know, thin and brittle. And I mean, once the cover's on, really everything should be good to go. But yeah. Um, one thing to note, there's other ways you can shield it. It doesn't have to be copper tape. There's different paints and things you can use. I like copper tape because it's cheap, it's easy to apply, and it's not permanent. So if for some reason in the future, Les Paul tributes from 2020 become a collectible, but people only want them if they're all original, I can easily just take this tape off. So here we go. I'll put the cover back on, plug her in, and see what happens. All right, this is the moment of truth. This is the guitar I've been working on. Gibson Les Paul Tribute 2020 model. I just shielded this switch cavity and the control cavity. So normally on a clean channel in this room in the setup, if I move it like this before or after playing it for any period of time, very consistently loud static crackles on the clean channel. So we are going to try it starting with the bridge pickup. Not a sound, not a single sound. Try it on your neck pickup. This is great. I'm calling that fixed. Definitely is fixed. Awesome.